This is one of our favorite products. It's the mnemonics version of the walkthrough of the 2024 handbook presented by the DSG team. That's the DOT study guide team. We've got almost 40 helpful and highly memorable mnemonics to help you lock in this content, crush the NRCME, and master the art of DOT physicals. We'll be going through the summarized walkthrough content solely to focus on the specific content for which we've developed mnemonics. It's almost like a speed run of that content. You could almost call it a run through. So if you want a walkthrough experience, well, that's what the regular walkthrough is about. But this, this is the mnemonics V. And then also, if it's designed or used for nine to 15 people, including the driver for compensation, well, the way we remember that, instead of 9 to 15, we take off that 1 and we think 9 to 5. Go into work 9 to 5 to get paid, to get compensated. And so 9 to 5, we just round it up because, of course, the numbers, the range would be from lower to high. So 9 to 15 people, including the driver, or one eye is better, one eye is not better than the standard. And then you've got monovision, which is this kind of crazy thing where you've got distance with one eye, and you've got close up with the other eye. That's monovision, still acceptable as long as they can pass the standard. And then telescopes are not allowed. And that's why we've got this image here, telescope not being allowed, whereas the patch is. So the pirates can come in, but you can't bring your telescope is when we will then need to get exercise stress test, exercise tolerance test. Now, when you're talking about a cabbage, you're actually doing bypass and you're getting whole new vessels. You're not using the old vessels like with the AMI, but using whole new vessels, bypassing the old ones, that is the cabbage, that is the bypass, and so you get more time. Uh, what's Five. a usual range or normal range for the LVEF, the left ventricular ejection fraction? Quick way to remember this, 55 to 70, That's those are the numbers to remember. How do you lock those in? Well, at least in the areas, some of the main areas of, of the United States, there's this general rule of thumb that country roads kind of more back roads tend to have the default speed limit of 55 miles per hour. And then on the highway, roughly, this is very approximate, there's a 70 miles per hour. So you can think about the usual range for the speed limits balloon is needs to be reinflated before the person can drive. They need to have full recovery confirmed. And then how many episodes is this? Are you going to fly in your hot air balloon if you've had multiple episodes? Regulations. This is another classic from all the previous DOT. And again, we're not making fun of anyone. We're simply finding a fun way to remember things. We talk about this moment in Top Gun, the classic, I feel the need, the need for speed. And in here, we're going to talk about the need for SPE or SPE certification, skill performance evaluation. You need that certificate for things like limb loss, impairment. And so we talk about that in the course quite a bit. And here we've got a picture just to remember. And so the best we did here to try to come up with uh, prosthetic limbs, basically giving each other a high five, just like in the movie. Based on the Show. word Meniere's disease, that phrase, we say instead, mud ears dizzy. Mud ears disease. Mud ears disease. You can kind of hear it there. Three parts, the triad, the classic triad of Meniere's disease or mud ears disease is... Hearing loss, which is clear as mud. And you've got tinnitus, which is ears ringing. Sure. So if there's a either a hemorrhagic stroke or an embolic stroke, it matters where the stroke is located and what the risk of seizure is based on that. Security and so it has to figure it out. And we can call this security guard. In this case, is our picture of a gorilla. We're going to call him Gov, the gorilla, and that's the government. So the government needs to know the prescriber. So the prescriber has to show their ID, flash that ID, and that's the first thing. Meaning, what? That the prescriber has their controlled substance license, so the government knows the prescriber. All right, number two, the prescriber has to know the so patient. A grandfather clock being, being uh, nullified because grandfathering has been eliminated. There's no more grandfathering, so remember that. When we're, if you see something come up on the exam about that or someone wants to bring up the concept of grandfathering, that... Uh, sorry, there's no more grandfathering that has been. Thanks for checking out this preview sample of our product content. Make your purchase today and enjoy immediate access to the complete content. 
go to our website at www.dotstudyguide.com and purchase your access today. That's www.dotstudyguide.com. Your purchase of this and our other educational media products allows us to keep producing and improving the content we provide.